Hello everybody, I'm Roxy. Hi everybody, I'm Dani. And this is Chaotic <laughs> Bibliophile. Today I'm back with Dani on my channel. Ooh, she is exciting. my favorite and only frequent guest. <laughs> um, she's appeared on a couple of other videos such as the picking my five star uh, TBR, which was actually very successful and the uh, supporting little free libraries video which right, will yes. all be linked down below uh, which was also a pretty successful video if i do say so myself <laughs> and it was very fun to to film too we TBR, have right a lot of fun filming together i would say that's why we keep doing it yeah anyways what are we here to do today danny uh we are here to choose your tbr for an unfiction november yeah, so I think everyone that watches me knows by now, but in case you don't, Nonfiction November is a reading initiative hosted mainly by Olive from Book Olive, but she has help from tons of amazing booktubers. So I will link the official video announcement down below and also their new official Instagram. So you can check it out and go follow them. And it's basically just an initiative encouraging you to pick up more nonfiction than you usually do. So if you don't pick up any nonfiction ever, just read one book and that book can be the low-key overdue book club link down below to that announcement <laughs> <laughs> or any other book that you want but they also have four prompts to help you inspire you and a lot of people choose to only read nonfiction for the month of november which is a choice i would love to make but this year because of studies i won't be able to do that i do hope to be reading more than these four books but these will be my priority to fit into the challenges before we move on to the tbr picking danny are you participating in nonfiction november yes 100 percent. i'm always very excited to be participating this is like the readathon right <laughs> i know right it's my favorite as well <laughs> i know and it's very exciting i usually do not read as much nonfiction as you do for example but i love it and i am very interested in a lot of books nonfiction books so this kind of gives me a, a little push will you be matching also the books to the prompts ideally um, or will you just wing it i think i'll just be all over the place i haven't really chosen any of the books that i want to read for nonfiction november i don't think i will use the prompt especially because i do have books that i do have to read 100 percent. for example for a right, podcast right, right. in spanish so yeah i do have a lot of my on my plate so i don't think i'm gonna be working with the prompts but i'm very excited that you are though how this is going to work is that i I have chosen 15 books that I think match either one or more prompts but I won't tell you what prompts I think they match and you'll just have to match them however so you do have to choose only four books and please be mindful there are some big books here I think one big book and the other is like right of course, of course. Us, right the idea of these one word prompts is that they are very open-ended and you can take them in a myriad yeah. of ways what are the four words Danny? Industry, style, collection, and treatment. Let's move on to the books. The first book I have here is Film Music, a very short introduction by Catherine Kalinak. This is part of the Oxford collection of a very short introduction. If you can think of a topic, there probably is a very short introduction on it, <laughs> yeah. or they are working on it at the moment. I've mentioned, I think on Instagram, that I am very interested in film music and I want to know more about it. And I did talk about some bits of film music in my Se Habla Spanglish vlog, so I'll link that down below as well. The next book is The Hatred of Poetry by Ben Lerner. This is an essay. I, I don't know if it's a collection. No, it's just like a long essay about poetry and why people hate it. And also I think it gives you tools to learn how to love poetry. I mean, not learn, but like give yourself permission to enjoy poetry. Something very different, but by an author that you would recognize if you've been following me for a couple of years. So this is David Hepworth, A Fabulous Creation, How the LP Saved Our Lives. Mm. And it's a, it's a history of an analysis of the rise, fall and rise again of the long play as a format. I am decently interested in music formats. It's not like my area of expertise, but more than that, I just really love David Hepworth. He wrote Uncommon People, The Rise and Fall of the Rockstar, oh, which is a book I love. Yeah. The End of the End of the Earth by Jonathan Franzen. 
And this is a collection of essays. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Jonathan Franzen is so controversial and I understand why to a degree he has like some very controversial opinions, but I still love his writing and I love his essays. And I think these focus specifically on conservation and activism. So exciting. I it love Jonathan Franzen too. You know that because we read him together. <laughs> yes, yes. So here's the thing. I um, saw his new book Crossroads today at Foils and it was a signed edition, but it's a hardcover. Um, and I don't think I'll get to read it before next yeah. year. So it's not worth it money wise, but I keep thinking about it. So I don't know if I come across it again. I don't know if I'll be able to say no. That's <gasps> well, we should we should read it together, though. We should buy read it like soon. I don't know. I don't know. Whenever I, you I do want to. Want to. I know you have a lot on your plate. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Okay. <laughs> Rain, four walks in the English weather by Melissa Harrison. Hmm. These are four essays. I mentioned this book in the books she carried video link down below and in the eye because I brought it from Santiago, but actually I bought it at the Heathrow Airport, so this made its way to Chile and back. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really good. It's also very slim and it does rain a lot here. Yeah, so it makes sense. It, it makes it's sense. A different thing altogether and also very dense, but also I'm excited for it. Modernism, a guide to European literature, 1890 to 1930, edited by Malcolm Bradbury and James McFarlane. This would have to be the only big book though because it is, it is like yeah, it looks quite heavy. A big like... chunker. Okay, these two are ones that I already started, but I am in the beginning of. I'm definitely not going to be able to finish them in October. And so I actually have put them down. So I think they should be in the running. Yes. The first one is The Silent Musician, Why Conducting Matters by Mark Wigglesworth. That's his last name, Wigglesworth. I love it. I know, adorable. <laughs> the following book is also a bit of a chunker because the print is ridiculously small. Honestly, I would prefer this book to be just thicker with a larger print, but whatever. And it's The Invention of Surgery by David Schneider, mm -hmm. MD. And it's a history of modern medicine from the Renaissance to the implant revolution. And it talks about that. It's actually really good. I love how it's written. It's just that the print is ridiculously small. Um, I'll show it mm -hmm. to you in a second closer. Look at this. Yeah, I've see, yeah, I see it. I see it. It's... I don't know why, because it's not that thick of a paperback. This could be longer, just like a thicker paperback. This has to be like nine, but it is fascinating <laughs> and it is well written <laughs> and I'm enjoying it. It's just that it, it pisses me off. Yeah, of course, of course. The process, they make the process harder, yes. which, which it shouldn't be. Exactly. A really fascinating book related to medicine is Being Mortal by Atul Gawande. Illness, medicine, and what matters in the end. And mm. this book might sound a bit depressing because it is about death effectively, but it's actually a really pragmatic but also human look into death from pastoral and a medical perspective and sort of how we don't want to have these conversations, but it's actually really important that we do. I love it. I love it. Yeah. It, it was reviewed in the Literary Disco podcast. This is how I found out oh. about it. And I just felt like I had to get it. And I also think that this is a really good moment for me to pick it up. Something completely <laughs> different. Vinyl Adventures from Istanbul to San Francisco. It's travel music writing. It's about this guy who I think meets musicians and asks them what that record that changed their lives is oh, and then he oh goes looking for it sounds amazing i know right i discovered it yeah at um mr b's emporium of reading lights it was just there and i didn't buy it right away but i couldn't stop thinking about it and so i went back yeah, and got it i was so happy it. That's i know sign. right oh i'm so happy about this one 
It's the Body by Bill Bryson. Yay! Yay! Bill Bryson. Yes. So here's the thing. I've been resisting buying this book just because I already bought so many books. Yeah, but course, I found a secondhand copy, or rather, it found me at the charity shop I volunteer. <laughs> this is thicker, but the print is big, and also Bill Bryson has this very relaxed conversational tone. So I don't think this counts as a true chunker, by the way. It's not like the modernisms book. This next one does count as a chunker. <laughs> Teenage okay, by John Savage. The creation okay. of youth, 1875-1945. With a new introduction from the author. In case you're interested in uh, John Savage's books, Favor and Favor just re-released them and they all are in this like large paperback format, but they have different colors but the same sort of structure and it looks really nice. This is basically a look into the creation of the idea of the teenager as a consumer demographic and as a social demographic. I have read mm -hmm. the beginning of this previously because it was at my uni library, but the addition of that was the same as in the surgery one. It was very small. Oh, um, very hard to read. Yeah, very hard to read. And in the end, I just had to give it back to the library. And so I never continued. I only read the mere beginning, but it was very good. It's very interesting. Yeah, sounds, sounds amazing, honestly. I know. It's a great selection. How will you ever pick? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we have three more to go. These are slimmer. We have a book in Spanish. Sona Ciega by Lina Meruane. I know, right? I love her. Um, this is a collection of three essays or an essay in three parts. No, I think they are three essays. Sort of a companion to her novel, Seeing Red, which is all about a illness, you could call it, or a condition that she has in her eyes where the blood vessels pop and it, they become like bloodied in a mm -hmm. really intense way. These are essays that consider all the implications. They are supposed to be really personal, but also just exploring the concept of seeing and how we rely on our eyes and our view and what happens when we are unable to use that to navigate the world. The next book is totally different stuff. Motion Picture Purgatory by Rick Trembles. Trembles. The subtitle for this is actually a mouthful. It's an incomparable collection of comic strip concoctions configured to critique film. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, this is graphic nonfiction. It's graphic columns of reviews of films. It looks amazing. I love how the graphic, like general, like the graphic format, it's kind of taking over everything and you can do anything yes. graphic. I love it. And the last one is also graphic nonfiction, Sensible Footwear, A Girl's Guide by uh, Kate Charlesworth. A graphic history of LGBT, but specifically lesbian spaces in Britain during the 60s? Okay, 50s, so post-war Britain on. Mm -hmm. It looks beautiful. Yeah. How was yes. it called again? <laughs> <laughs> it, it exploded. <laughs> It happens, it happens. Yeah. Um, it's called Sensible Footwear, Footwear, A Girl's Guide. So that was the last one. These are the 15 books. I'm going to give you some time to process everything. Think about it, yeah. process it, and then when you're ready, we'll reconvene. Before you reveal your picks, uh, tell me what you thought of the selection overall. It was amazing. I found out about some books that I didn't know I needed, but I do need now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, at least five books, five of these books I do want to read like 100%. Wow. So yes. That's fun. one third. That's, that's a lot. That's, that's a, a, lot. a good average. Yeah, I know it's just that you pick good books, baby. <laughs> what? what, what <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I'm very excited and I'm very excited for you to read the, the books that I'm going to, to choose now. Tell me the prompt and then the book. For industry, I for sure wanted something related to the music industry. Yay. Um, 
because I did want you for sure to read something related to music because I know you love it and you have a lot of like music related books here but the ones that caught my eye in particular that I found it very fascinating is A Fabulous Creation Great! Oh, an excuse to read it! Amazing! <laughs> yeah, also because you said you wanted to yeah, you were like, you were being very responsible and you're buying the books and then reading it yeah, I wanted to help you with that <laughs> Thank you, thank you! Like, it sounds, it sounds great Next one! Oh, next. I'm so excited! Next one it's a style and as soon as you showed me the graphic novel ones I was, oh no not novel graphic nonfiction ones i was like oh this needs to go in style because okay. it's a different style of nonfiction. and i like that approach and yeah so at first i was like oh the purgatory one sounds amazing and i have heard about the sensible footwear before so as soon as you showed the sensible footwear one i was like this is the one yes uh, it's so <laughs> i'm so excited yes <laughs> yeah i love it also i love like the whole vibe there i know it's it's so gay i love it <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I liked what you said because I originally picked it because of the footwear thing, thinking of style actually. Mm -hmm. I, I thought about style, but I hadn't thought about graphic nonfiction as being a different style of nonfiction. And I love that, that approach. Is so cool. so, yeah, it's like a <laughs> bonus book because it works doubly for one prompt. Love it. Yeah, 100%. Love it. For collection. Of course, it, th this was like the easiest one to get an approach right. because collections of whatever. And you have, I do have a question. Yes. Is Sona Sierra, the book by Lina Melvane, a collection I of like do essays? I think so, yes. I think it's a collection of three essays. Um, yes. So, is three a collection? Would you call it a collection? I think so. Yeah, for sure. The thing is that I do want you to read the Jonathan Franzen essays too because I okay. love Jonathan, 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 Jonathan Franzen. Okay. So I'm very torn. Um, because I guess I could put Sonasia in treatment too. Ah, well, here's the thing. There is another Lina Meruane nonfiction book that I want to read for Nonfiction November, ideally. Ah. That is not, I didn't think it would fit the challenges so i didn't put it I on it. this pile so if you really want me to read the franzen one you could do what you said or you could choose yeah. if you have something else for treatment mm -hmm. we can also do that and then rest assured that i will read another lina Meruane. let's do that first and promise me you will <laughs> you will read the lina Meruane one like but the other the one the other one yeah no um, i really want to read that one um ideally of course yes of course yeah the last one and the last one yes i am torn too between two books okay um because i want you to read being mortal okay it sounds amazing and also i do think like the treatment of the issue it's very specific you know right so right. i love that but at the same time i do love the idea of you reading the hatred of poetry because mm -hmm. of how po poetry is treated in general oh. but i do think being mortal is the one yeah, also very yeah. different yeah, from yeah, the rest yeah. of the things that I'm reading. And although I do want to read this eventually, that's why I caught it, of course. <laughs> I am excited to read this and I think you couldn't have picked a better moment for me to read it. So I'll show all the books once more, just so you get a good look. This is my non-fiction November official TBR. No big books, I just realized. <laughs> no, but it's okay. There are a couple books that I want to read. So. I don't know if the piano book I'm reading at the moment, I will get to finish it before mm. October, so maybe I'll focus on that. I want to read the Lina Meruane one, need to read the book club book, and I also hope to get my start on the modernism book. So, you know, there are a lot of things going on. Yeah, 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 a lot of options. Exactly, but I'll definitely- But I'm very excited. Yeah, prioritize these four and the book club book, of course. <laughs> I'm so yes. excited. Thank you for choosing this TBR for me. It looks amazing. It looks like I'm going to love it. You know my taste a lot. And I also think they are so different, you know, and it's good to have variety for a month where you have to read these books, you know? Yeah, thank you for inviting me. I'm very eager to hear your thoughts on every, every book. Yes. We'll report back. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up, please subscribe and comment. Have you read any of these books? Do you, like Danny and I, want to read any of these books? 
please leave them down below if you don't have anything to say about these books tell me are you planning on joining nonfiction november and what do you plan to read one book that you hope to read for nonfiction november and also what books did you like from the pile i'm curious <gasps> oh okay so a book that i have to read uh for nonfiction november uh, catch and kill i'm very excited for that but we have to read that yes. for uh, our podcast but i like just yes. on its own it's a very exciting book so i know right yeah, we've yeah. been waiting for so long yeah i know <laughs> the five fabulous creation of course sensible footwear purgatory one the body the jonathan franzen essays zona ciega the rain one invention of surgery but the small font it is not. kind of a good killer <laughs> Yeah, um, but it's good. I, I read the introduction and the beginning of the first chapter. I did it really is very good. Hits that sweet spot hmm. between being conversational and very informative and rigorous. So, I, I mean, I need to read the whole thing before fully recommending it. But so far, I would recommend yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Just the publisher, man. It's, the, it's not the publisher. It has nothing to do with the author. Yeah, it sucks. They did the author dirty. So, that was all for today. Where can people find you, Danny? on instagram at the anna kill uh, i'm sure you will put the links down below <laughs> of course uh on my book club below. yeah my book club which is on hiatus the moment reading latinas but it will come back eventually hopefully uh like beginning of next year awesome. and uh on our podcasts right <laughs> Yeah. Are we announcing that? Now? I don't know. Are, are, we, we? are we are we plugging it right now? Then let's plug it. Now we have a new brand new podcast in English because we love talking about books and we can't get enough of each other. So now we are recording exactly. each other Basically. talking about books. That's great. And it's called the Book Crumbles podcast. You can find it anywhere. So I'll probably have the Instagram down below. Yeah. And then there you will find a link tree to all the all the platforms you can access it yeah that's very exciting go listen to it yes it is very exciting it is very new so we're still figuring it out but it's very conversational it's very chill we hope you'll enjoy it i will probably either have filmed an announcement or will film an announcement but in case you didn't know yeah. here it go is. listen to the brook <laughs> podcast and that's all see you next time bye